continue with chapter 5, subtopic 5.3, vector product. After this lesson, students should be able to find the vector product. Definition of the vector product. The vector product also can be known as cross product. If given vector A and vector B, then the, the vector product denoted by A cross B can be defined in terms of the expansion of the determinant as follows. So, A cross B, first write down our vector in the form of determinant of matrices. So, the first row is I, J, K and the second row is the coefficient of I, J and K for the vector A and the third row is the coefficient of vector B. As we known before, to find the determinant is we are cancelling the first row and the first column for the determinant vector. So we have A2 times B3 minus A3 minus B2. For the second coefficient can be defined as cancel out the first row and the second column. So we have A2B3 minus A3B1 and for the third coefficient can be defined when deleting the first row and the third column. So we have A1B2 minus A2B1. So this is the first example given A is equal to I plus J plus K and vector B is I minus 3J plus 2K. Question A, find A cross B. So how to find A cross B? Write down our vector A and B in the form of determinant. For the first row is I, J and K. The second row is the coefficient of vector A which is 1, 1, 1 and the third row is coefficient of vector B which is 1, negative 3 and 2. Now, by using the determinant, find the vector product. So, write down I minus J plus K first. And then fill in our blank with our determinant. So first of all, we need to eliminate the first row and the first column. So we have the determinant is 1 times 2 minus 1 times negative 3. And for the coefficient of j, we are deleting the first row and the second column. So the determinant is 1 times 2 minus 1 times 1. And the last coefficient is delete the first row and the third column. So we have 1 times negative 3 minus 1 times 1. So the answer is 2 minus minus 3. So the answer is 5i. Minus with 
1 times 2 is 2, 2 times 1 is 1G, and 1 times 3 is negative 3 minus 1, we have negative 4K. So our vector product for A cross B is 5I minus J minus 4K. This is answer for A. So the question B is find 3A cross 2B. So here we have scala for vector A and vector B. Now, solving question B, so we have First of all, write down our vector in terms of matrix form, determinant of matrix form, and then multiply our vector A with 3. So we have A is equal to I plus J plus K, so therefore 3 Vector A is 3i plus 3j plus 3k. So we have here the coefficient is 3, 3, 3. Same goes to B. So we have 2 times vector B. So the coefficient is 2, negative 6 and 4. So using the determinant find the coefficient for i j and k so here we have delete the first row and the second the first row and the first column so we have 4 times 3 is 12 12 minus with 6 minus 3 is equal to negative 18 minus delete the first row and the second col column so we have 3 times 4 is 12 minus 2 times 3 is 6 and the last coefficient is delete the, fir the first row and the third column so we have negative 18 minus with 6 so simplify this, we have it is equal to 30i minus 6j minus 24k. So this is also known as if we factorize the 6, so we have 5i minus j minus 4k so this is actually our a cross b the first example before this one can be written as 6 times a cross Before we end up our class, please do this exercise and submit to your lecturer.